new ramen dolls hey cuties peachy here welcome back to a new video and in this video yeah we have brand new ramen surprise dolls and get this garrett standard the creator of monster high worked on this brand new fashion doll line so stay tuned subscribe and let's get into it so recently garrett standard the creator of monster high shared on his instagram profile these brand new pictures of a new doll line called the made to order instant couple style dolls and he worked on this project he worked on these dolls so you can definitely tell that there's a little bit of Garrett's pizzazz in these dolls the design you can just tell it it totally speaks of Garrett um and I think that's also why they actually look so amazing um, I'm, I'm obviously not sure like what specifically he worked on or maybe he just like helped out with the designs or whatever so I don't know like how much you know credit to give him you know maybe he just worked on some elements of the dolls um but I do think whatever he worked on like how much how however much it was that he helped with um you can definitely tell like there's just something about these dolls that just reminds me of monster high stylistically speaking and also design wise it just reminds me of monster high and therefore you know you can just tell there's a lot of garrett's touch in these dolls this whole concept idea for like a doll line based on like ramen dishes and flavors is like so insane but like i'm so here for it it's just so creative and like definitely definitely not like i've ever seen before especially with like the whole way you reveal the actual dolls that is so insanely unique as well and it's just so fun looking um like i have i actually have to say like i would be down to actually try it <laughs> like i actually think that would be so cool um but yeah so you might have guessed these are blind dolls so you're not sure who you're getting unfortunately uh maybe there's like a secret way to know who you, who you're getting with like a code on the cup or um you know somewhere like there's a design kind of like uh, in reference to a character uh i'm not sure i hope there's like a secret way to tell who you're getting but i don't think there is um so unfortunately these seem to be like you know blind dolls but aside for that i do think the actual like again like the reveal gimmick like how you get to the actual doll is ingenious so basically you have these chopsticks uh you have these like packets with like little uh solvents or whatever like powders um that you pour into the cup um and there's like these cute little um condiments already inside the like not con like there's already like food basically in the cup that has like little chippy faces <laughs> so cute um so you pour in these powders and then you pour in the water um and then you basically mix it all together with these chopsticks that you're actually able to bend and stuff which is so fun um and then that's how you get out the accessories uh and then you, you also <laughs> you also pull out the doll that way like literally because the doll the doll's hair is like you know it's like that squiggly kind of like plastic material where it's like very bendy um and it looks like noodles so that's how you get a doll out it looks like noodles and then you get that doll out and then it's like oh yeah it's it's <laughs> it's a noodle doll <laughs> so that's so fun so again like so captivating to me like i just i've never seen something like this that combines combines like a like a dish with like a doll and a creative way to unveil the doll like this is like this has it all like these this doll line has it all the surprise ele element the cute designs and then obviously like the whole gimmick that it's inspired by a dish like what so speaking of let's talk about these six new characters here part of this doll line uh by the way they're really small they're not really big dolls and they're only kind of fashion dolls in a sense that they do have you know removable skirts and shoes but aside for that the like bodysuits underneath uh, are painted on and they don't have like too much posability or articulation but i have to say like the faces the face like how they capture the faces and just the stylistic choices like with that and the hair um and the accessories like it's just so cute like i, I definitely think they are kind of similar to you know magic mixies pixlings um and chantamals and you know like chelsea dolls like mini dolls basically like that um they're very similar like that but just so cute like literally so cute um so here's tori tomato <laughs> and as yeah and again again each doll has a unique flavor attached to it so tori tomato obviously she's like tomato flavored um and i'm not sure like what actual real life flavors and ramen dishes are 
you know, based, like inspired by these dolls. Um, I don't know. I have, I have no clue. I'm not really a, a culin culinary expertise, but basically she's a tomato flavored doll. What? <laughs> so she's all red. I love the, you know, red hair, like the little noodle hair. <laughs> um, and then her face is like, she has green eyes, the cute little, cute little huge eyes um which definitely reminds me of omg dolls because they also have like really round huge eyes but here i think it works better because they're so expressive i don't know um and then the skirt i do have to say the skirts are a little bit basic like i wish that they would have been maybe a little bit more interesting but they are cute uh it looks a little baggy but it's still really cute and then the shoes also really simple but cute and obviously they all have they all have accessories unique to each character um but i do think that they all kind of like reuse the same sunglasses mold so i'm not sure but at least they have accessories you know what i mean like they're all really cute and uh they have stuff going on you know here is Taya tropical um she has more of like a teal based color scheme i love the little cor corally looking like flower accessory in her hair um and her face is just super fun she has a tan so that's also really cool uh she has like a cute little um pair of shorts on <laughs> um and the bag is like a pineapple and her shoes so yeah she's very like tropical inspired um maybe her flavor is like pineapple and maybe that's why yeah she has a pineapple purse i think yeah i don't know she's <laughs> all the small details like i'm gonna die but here is saki sakura she's the pink doll obviously because every doll line has to have a pink doll uh we all know this by now um and she She's the one. She is, I guess, like cherry blossom themed, right? Saki Sakura, I believe that's what it means. Sakura, cherry blossom. I don't know. Um, but yeah, she has like a very pink a theme going on, but also with teal, which I love. Um, I love her face. She also has more of like a like a tan. I, I think it's so fun how they each have like almost different skin tones. Like that's so cool. Very diverse, obviously. Um, her ponytail, the hairstyle is also different here. Uh, the ponytail is sometimes changed, so that's also really fun fun and i think she's just so cute obviously my favorite because she is pink but also just like the cherry blossom themes i i love that design element to it um and maybe like yeah if you know more about like these flavors and what they're actually based on like real life dishes uh let me know down below because i really just I, all of these like flavors and maybe all of these like um like uh like references they just they fall flat to me i just don't get them so uh if you know what uh what they all mean let me know down below next we have a piper pumpkin and i think uh, wait yeah her name is the same like piper peach from from yummy land oh my gosh they have the same name piper we have so many pipers this year um but yeah this is piper pumpkin obviously and she's um pumpkin flavored I, I just love the orange theme here it's just so vibrant uh she seems like a country girl like with the shorts the plaid print um the face uh sh she looks so cute i love the bangs i love the little green on top of her ponytail um and in her accessories she has like a little tablet or something um her huge boots like again totally giving me cowgirl vibes also like applejack for my little pony like i don't know why but like it's just giving um and i just think she's so cute probably one, 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 of, one of my favorites for sure next we have rory rainbow and hang on her name is also the exact same of another doll rory blueberry from yummy land once again so um i mean you know one name being the same is like a coincidence but two names being the exact same hmm maybe not a coincidence uh or maybe it is i have no idea <laughs> but uh it is very funny how they're they have the exact same names of two characters now from two different companies um but yeah Ro 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 rory rainbow uh she's rainbow themed uh, kind of like past pastel rainbow um i wonder what her flavor is i guess like something sweeter something like um cotton candy <laughs> i really have no idea like is it a flavor rainbow is rainbow a flavor uh i don't know but uh she has a deeper skin tone here i love how the noodle hair is also wavy like almost crimped looking uh it's supposed to imitate like curly hair so i think that looks it, it's a very neat attention to detail to um create different like textures and uh shapes with the noodle hair to imitate real life hair textures so i think that looks very fun well done i love it um and then her her little fit is also really cute um i like her pastel rainbow colors but again i'm just so lost on like her flavor like what is it and <laughs> lastly we have whitney wasabi oh my god 
<laughs> these names i mean they're just so cute like whitney wasabi are you kidding me like how adorable is that um so her flavor is obviously wasabi which i have heard of it's really spicy right and it's, it's also very like vibrant green that's why her color theme here is like a very neon green um and i absolutely love how they paired the green up with this really dark skin tone like she has a very deep skin tone um deeper than most doll lines start off with so this is amazing i love this so much the vibrant green eyes as well we have little hints of orange and the pig pigtails right um and i also love how her noodle hair once again is also squiggly to imitate a you know tighter hair texture uh, you know real life hair texture so that's very very fun uh her fit always really cute um and i just yeah she's so cute i mean it's just the colors really they they're just so vibrant with all of them i think they're just very well done by the way i'm not sure how much they actually cost uh but judging by their size and what they come with i would say probably 20 us dollars um or i guess 25 they could be 25 but i don't know i think they're really small dolls um probably even smaller than like magic mixies pixelings um and they don't come with like as much stuff and the cup does seem to be like kind of small not too big so i do think like 20 um if not maybe 50 and like that would be an amazing price but um i get i, I think 20 would be realistic right like 20 us dollars i think that makes sense for like a surprise doll uh, line like this with like cute little gimmick and a concept design so yeah i think this is like such a exciting new fashion doll line um and I, I do use the term fashion doll kind of loosely here because i just base it upon the fact that we do have um you know removable like skirts <laughs> and shoes uh and accessories but they are very limited in the articulation uh obviously because they are very small dolls which makes sense i totally get that uh but they are you know they offer less than what a standard doll would even with magic mix pixlings who are small dolls they at least have you know elbow joints and they have um you know i feel like they have more painted details uh, but they're, or, again they're also probably bigger so i just think the scaling obviously does limit some stuff but i do think like the whole reveal gimmick um is so strong like the whole designing with the packaging the cups the different elements it's so well done like i have to say like how amazingly executed is this like it's just so well done um the designs on the actual dolls the flavoring behind every doll the naming <laughs> of the characters and and actually the concept of like the noodle shaped hair um it's ingenious like honestly this is amazing they look amazing and i would not be surprised if they actually become a huge hit and they make more so yeah um ho hopefully uh, down the line they also become available for international you know collectors because uh so far i only seen um I've only seen one listing, which is for Amazon.com. Uh, and apparently, you know, Garrett said on his post that they are also available in UK on the shop, The Entertainer. But I, I live in Switzerland, which is, you know, in the other uh, parts of Europe. Uh, so hopefully they become like accessible via Amazon websites, international Amazon websites, um, because for instance, I could not get them from Amazon US. Like I just, I never can buy anything from Amazon, Amazon US. It's just, it doesn't work like that. So hopefully they become more available to um, us inter international collectors, uh, perhaps even in store, I think, because they do look really cool. And I think if they do become successful, they definitely will become more available to more collectors in the future but what do you think and who's your favorite character and flavoring and also like what ramen flavor do you actually like in real life like do you have you have you tried any of these ramen flavors that are actually inspired by the dolls so uh that the, that the dolls are inspired by <laughs> um so yeah what do you think let me know down below and also are you kind of sick of these like um reveal surprise dolls or do you think when it's something like this where it's like more creative and like really creatively well done executed do you think it's okay um and is it worth it or are you still a little bit bummed out that it's like a surprise doll and would you at least like to know who you're getting let me know what you think down below but yeah i hope you all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and consider becoming a member today to support the channel if you're able to and of course so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy Kisses.